Okay, so that's all the pre-knowledge you have to have of doing these problems. Let's see how we actually perform one. Let's say a homesteaded single-family residence has an assessed value of $350,000. The millage rate for the school district is 6 mils, the county is 8.2, and the city is 7.1. My dyslexia popping in there. What is the total property tax bill for this property if the homeowner is a blind widower? And if you would like, I highly recommend you pause the video here and write out the assessed value and then you can write school, city, county, and your millage rates next to it. And then don't forget to look for your other mini or miniature exemptions. Do any apply? It said that the homeowner is a blind widower, right? They do stack. And a lot of students, when they see blind widower together, only want to add in 500 instead of 500 apiece for a total of 1,000 for the blind and the widow. Er. So make sure you pay close attention. So first we're going to start with the city and county, and we prefer to draw a line down the center of the page, or at least the center of where we're writing the problem out, and doing the city and county on the left side and the school board by itself on the right. The reason that we prefer you to do it this way is you keep your school board separated because, as you may or may not recall, if the property is greater than $75,000, you get a second $25,000 exemption for a total of 50 for your city and county, but that second $25,000 does not count for the school board, hence why we do them left and right sides. Now on the city and county side, our millage rates were 7.1 and 8.2. If you add those together, you get 15.3, or in the decimal form we need it to be, 0 0.0153. Don't forget to move the decimal thrice. Now, the assessed value is $350,000. As I just said, that means we're greater than 75, so we get the base 25, the second 25,000, and don't forget, they were a blind widower, so we get another $1,000 off for that. So we get to subtract 51000 from the $350,000 assessed. That leaves us with $299,000 as our taxable value. Now all we do is just multiply that by our millage rates, which is 0 0.0153, and that tells us that our taxes for school, or I'm sorry, for the city and county, is $4,574.70. And then we simply just do the same thing on the other side for the school board. Now the school board was just 6 mils, or in decimal form we'll write that as 0 .006. You take the $350,000 assessed value, and now let's take away our exemptions. We get the base $25,000 for being homesteaded, and then we get another $1,000 we can take out for the widow and blind. That leaves us the 324,000 taxable value for the school. Multiply that by the school board millage rates of 0 0.006, and that tells us for the school board taxes, we're going to pay $1,944 in taxes to the school board. Then if you add your city and county and school board together for the total taxes due, we have $6,518.70.